Another significant milestone has been achieved by the National High Speed Rail Corporation Limited in the Mumbai Ahmedabad High Speed Rail Corridor project. They have accomplished the construction of 100 km of viaduct and 250 km of pier work. A viaduct is an extended bridge type structure upheld by a sequence of arches or spans between tall pillars facilitating an elevated roadway or railway track. Union Railway Minister Ashbini Vaishnav on Thursday posted a video exhibiting the advancements made in the ongoing bullet train project. The project hit a milestone, completing 100 km of viaducts by launching 40 meter long full span box gidders and segmental gidders, stated NHSRCL. Additionally, 250 meter of pier work is finished. Installation of noise barriers has commenced on the completed viaduct. The viaducts encompass bridges over six rivers Par, Purna, Mindola, and Ambika in Navsari district, Auranga, and Vengania. The installation of the first reinforced concrete track bed following the Japanese Shinkansen model has commenced in Surat for the MAHSR corridor track system. This marks the debut of India utilizing the J slab ballastless track system. The project has accomplished the breakthrough of the initial 350 meter mountain tunnel in Valsa district, Gujarat, and the erection of the first 70 meter steel bridge in Surat district. This marks the debut of one of 28 steel bridges slated for the MAHSR corridor. In October this year, NHSRCL reached a major milestone by effectively installing the initial 70 meter long steel bridge over National Highway 53 in Surat. On September 14, 2017, Prime Minister Narendra Modi and his then Japanese counterpart Shinzo Abe inaugurated the project in Ahmedabad. NHSRCL formed on February 12, 2016 under the Companies Act 2013 is tasked with financing building and overseeing India's high-speed rail corridor. The company operates a special purpose vehicle jointly backed by the central government via the Ministry of Railways alongside the governments of Gujarat and Maharashtra. Subscribe to the Federal's YouTube page for more news and updates.